I'm really bad at saying Marleybone. Mar I want to say Marylebone, but it's not. I know it's not Marylebone. It's not. Hi! So I'm in West London this week because I'm starting the vlog in a new location. We're on a Bowden photo walk, so we're very colourful. I've got my yellow. Shadow's got navy. And then everyone else is in various shades. October 3rd. It's October 3rd. It's October 3rd. Oh my god, it's October 3rd. Uh, so it's Mean Girls Day. Danny DeVito, I love your work. It's like one of my favourite lines. And then also, she doesn't even go here. Nice chest here. Oh yeah, your mom's chest hair. Your mom's chest hair. Okay. I've got to address the hair, so yeah, I've got this hair again. Because it's wig season. We have come to Farm Girl and we're gonna have some lunch. Hello, so it is Tuesday. I don't know how I finished off the vlog, probably didn't actually finish it off, but I actually went and got a piercing, got another ear piercing. And because I'm probably never gonna get a tattoo, it's the only way that I can rebel. So I'm gonna keep going and get like a bit of a, a feature ear going on here. So today I'm gonna meet up with Kemi, who is, she's actually made a range of African notebooks, which are really, really cool, really, really vibrant. And there's also some proverbs, pro oh God, why can't I speak today? There's also some proverbs sort of dotted inside. So she emailed me, she was really nice and she wanted to meet for lunch. So I thought, yeah, I'll meet for lunch and have a little chat. So I'm gonna go and do that. And then I'm gonna meet up with Janae and take some pictures because I'm doing a post on nude tights for darker skin tones because it's getting a bit cold and I like wearing the bare-legged look but it's taken, like you can only get new tights in darker skin colors from very specific places. And there's a few more companies doing it now. You can't really walk into John Lewis or M&S and have the biggest selection. So I've got four pairs. I'm gonna photograph my legs in all of them and compare and just review them, like do a proper review because I wear them all the time. Some pairs they rip after the first wear and others you can get a little bit more wear out of. So yeah, I thought I would do a post on that. So yeah, I'm also running late. Oh my God, I need to go and pick up one pair of tights. So this is the pink wall that we have chosen as the backdrop. I've got Janae Hello. helping me. It's much later. I have just discovered the Solange album is on Spotify and oh my God, it's quite serene. Her voice is very calming and I think it's a good one to listen to before bed. So I've got it on and it's a little bit retro. I don't know, it sort of reminds me of old songs, new songs, all the songs. And I just think, yeah, I finally got some current music to listen to because I was turning into a little bit of a fogey, so that's good. Tomorrow should be a good day. I've got the clothes show breakfast and then I've got Estee's book launch and then a foodie market thing. So should be good. Night. Hello, so it is Wednesday and I'm just heading to the breakfast event, which I am late for. I am still listening to Solange and yeah, I feel really like Energized. So I have my very own Sarah Ashcroft catwalk, which I'm so excited to have. So I get to pick the brands that I want to feature on there, style it up alongside another stylist. And then I've got Q&A sessions and I've got times to meet up with my followers and things like that. So that's really nice because obviously I don't really get to do that or see anyone who actually follows me. So it'd be nice to know that I don't just talk to myself and there are people out there who care. <laughs> Excitement around Bloom has been so fun and it's such an interesting project for me because I've worked on it for over a year and it's really like the first project I've worked on for a long time like this. So that's been I accidentally overdressed because I thought, you know, it's the first day of autumn. But no, I'm boiling and I'm wearing thermos and knitwear. <laughs> So it is Tuesday and I didn't vlog for a few days because I was a bit of a hermit, but I've left. I've left the vicinity of my room and I'm heading to a Wool Week event in Haggerston. So we're going to look at this house where a lot of stuff is knitted and you know I love knitwear. So I'm going to head there, do a bit of work and then go to a Pinterest event. This is where we're going, Wool b, &B. Some 
from Fabric Make From Wool. And then these are Genevieve Sweeney's jumpers. And I actually went to uni with Genevieve and we've seen Trent. So here's a little shout out. Check out her jumpers and buy, buy all her jumpers, basically. <laughs> So it is Thursday. I'm heading off to Bista today for a Christmassy Wall Week event thing. So that should be cool because if you don't know, Bista is a shopping village outside of London. Everything is discounted. So they've got Prada, they've got Miu Miu, they've got Chloe, Celine, all the brands. I've not been there for a while. I've not been there for about two years. But last time I bought my purse for like a really good amount. It was like a, a Miu Miu purse. So yeah, we're gonna have a little look and see what's going on there. And then I've got Stylist Live later on, so that should be really good. And that is like another event that's associated with Stylist Magazine, which is a good like free magazine that they just hand out outside the tube. And they have a whole event and there's shopping, there's talks, there's workshops. So I will be going to that and hopefully getting a bit inspired. So now I've got to head to Mar Marlebone. I'm really bad at saying Marlebone. Mar I want to say Marylebone, but it's not. I know it's not Marylebone. It's not. But yes, so I'm going to go head to Marlebone and then get the train. And I'm not late, hopefully. Everything is a nightmare, like transport-wise today. Like, oh, the buses aren't running properly. Oh God. And you saw that. That was clever. Kind of I made it and I'm not gonna miss the train. We have arrived at this And it's really nice. I mean, it's really cozy, woolly room. Thank you for joining us on such a perfectly woolly day. Uh, it's suitably cold. We're delighted to be teaming up with the Campaign for Wool. These cheaply made, environmentally unfriendly plastic clothes are part of an epidemic. A cycle of consumer behaviour in which short-term satisfaction has become a threat to our long-term survival. We're going in the British Wool Collective. Oh, this is so nice. Oh my god. Oh, look at these. And then Marcus looked for I think I'm going to go back to Kenzo and I'm going to buy myself a new Kenzo sweatshirt. So these are some of the options. I'm here at Stylist Live and I think I'm going to look for some donuts and then go to Shirley's Talk. style inspiration and they've really changed the face of the fashion industry. I think it starts off with you know forming a personal brand as well and just in general what your brand your sort of like brand image is and what your unique selling point is. So as long as you have that you can sort of like form and place worth and value on the work that you do. When those comments came out in, in that article you know I felt kind of really disappointed. I thought we had gotten to a place where we had moved on from that. I think that the changes have been very dramatic, even over a 10 year period. It's impacted on the way they are working. Uh, that's traditional media, print media, and they've had to adjust to a lot of change. I, I just kind of want to hopefully move on from that whole us versus them. Just get on with what we're all uh, doing, which is, you know, we're creating content, you're creating content. Cheer! Oh god, I can't do it! Oh, that's so right. I'm here with um, <laughs> Shirley. Yeah, she just did a talk. And Janae, hey. And yeah, you, you were pretty good, Shirley. Thank you. Yeah. So deep. Very So deep. Very insightful. Major girl boss. <laughs> Woo! Hello, so it is Friday. 
what am I doing today? I'm gonna head to Stylist Live again because I've managed to get another ticket. So I think I'm gonna head there and see what's going on. And then there's also the Jeff Koons exhibition that I really wanna go and see and it's finishing on Sunday and I've just left it to the last minute as per usual. So I'm gonna try and pop there. And then I need to edit this video. So yeah, on Friday. <laughs> quite surreal to see it in real life you just want to touch it like all of the inflatable looking stuff is actually um, aluminium so yeah I just wish I could touch it really I just popped out briefly because I want some mac and cheese and they don't take hard I just popped to see the MDM flow like presentation the founder Florence can't pronounce the surname but I've tried on one of her lipsticks and I actually quite like it. It's a really nice like dark ready brown and it's just like a very good everyday colour. I think I'm probably gonna go and buy it the first mac and cheese. I am back home and I'm gonna just edit this vlog. I'm quite close to a thousand subscribers so I'm gonna be having a giveaway very soon. So I am planning a week of videos. I know it's not vlogtober, it's not vlogvember or whatever you call it but I thought you know I, I do need to get more consistent and I've been brainstorming and I've come up with some ideas and I thought why don't I start it off you know my new consistent posting with a week of videos so I'm hopefully gonna do it in November at some point and let me know if you want to see anything in particular I thought I might try and do my spin on some of the typical videos and then throw in some you know some Christopher ones as well I've got some brand new posts I've got a really cool post on nude tights for darker skin tones so you would have seen me shooting that with Janae last week and yeah it's had a really good response so far so I'm really really pleased with it thank you all for watching I love seeing your comments and whatever likes and all that jazz and I hope you all have a lovely weekend and I will see you soon.